All right, everyone, so here we are. Um, we took a video yesterday. We actually, let me get the keys out here. We actually got it started. Um, had a little bit of a storm, and I took an MRE video, and I deleted all the footage for this one. So we're just starting over. So basically, you saw me get the key out. I got the door open. Uh, the first thing we did, let me open up this passenger door. All the door handles are broke except for one, so it's a little struggle getting in. Okay, so let's start off with this. The first thing we did, we got under the hood, we clipped the wires to the solenoid, which is still hooked up to power. Had a bare wire hanging down there. So before we put the new battery in, we clipped that off, we did all that. Came over here where they've been fooling around with this. And actually have the cover to that guy right there which is holding our custom uh, ECU box lid down I just ordered a new box for that for 16 bucks we do not have the whole cowl piece we'll wait on that a little bit until we get the title back make sure that's good for us spend more money on this thing um, so we went through and we just twisted their wires together we're probably gonna go back and there were some wires up here twisted together too we'll take some uh, heat shrink take our solder iron and solder those heat shrink them we'll probably maybe just go ahead and snip these crampons off too and heat shrink all that stuff that way there's no issue ever um we should have a little bit of stuff that goes over this to chase the other side actually i think this is supposed to run through this i have to look at the other one and see exactly how all that runs um anyway we got all the bs taken off of it did the same thing he turned the key it went click or anything just wouldn't start so, before we went any further, we got into the uh, fuse box in the glove box, and I'll show you what we found. Sit on the trailer fender, open up the glove box, and I pulled every single fuse out in the whole car, one at a time. Obviously, not all, not everything at once. So, it has a card there that shows you what it is. Uh, we end up having a blown fuse, a seven and a half, which is right there. If it's even focusing, I don't know. That was number five. So it'll focus. Will you focus? Come on. Number five at the top. So you can see we replaced it. It's right there. That's a new one. That was blown. Once we replaced that blown fuse, it started right up. So when it started up, it sounded rough. Uh, I've been sitting for quite a while. I don't know if it's just a timing chain tensioner that hadn't pumped up yet is why it sounded rough. It's been sitting here overnight, so we're at a dead cold start right now. We're going to go and start it up and see how it sounds. I definitely want to pull out the oil filter and check for any fragments of timing chain guides. And right now we're at a 75% chance we'll have to do the guides in this thing. Somebody could have done it already. We'll get the benefit of the doubt. Let's go ahead and go inside and start it up. Okay, so here we are inside. We're going to cold start it, and we're going to see... What happens? This is pretty much going to tell the fate of this engine. What will be the final say is checking the oil filter for fragments. Let's go ahead and try it. Turn the blower motor off. Well, that wasn't expected. Nice, nice, quiet, cold start. Belt's a little bit squeaky, but not bad. So the door handle situation is well i see one problem right now this had the rubber pads on it and now it don't so i guess it flew off on the way home i'm not really sure what's going on with that but uh maybe i should have took some insight and took them off this one's missing that one it doesn't matter uh this thing's probably we're probably going to order all four of the inner frames for the handles because that one's not there That one's not there. Need an outer handle there. We need a outer handle here also. I'm sure the frames are broke on the inside. That's why they're they're missing. Passenger front, we need the inner frame because it's just broke and the door won't open. And then the back one, this is the only one that's good. Man, I tell you what, at this point, I might as well just order that one too and just do a whole set of them. It don't take me that long to do them. Might as well just do it and get it all done huh? he's got the door panel off this passenger or driver's side rear 
and it's throwing a code for the airbag. No, it's throwing passenger rear airbag. I don't know. I don't know what he's got going on. Something's unplugged or something's going on. We'll have to sort that out. It has no ABS light, no trash control light, which is ultra rare. Uh, it's missing a couple buttons here. We actually have a spare one of these uh, HVAC units. We can seal those buttons off. Should be able to fix that. Like I said, we went and drove it, everything. The handle here, but somebody's pretty much done in the end of the, I don't think that'll still work. We could try it, try it and see. And we need to bleach white all the door panels and probably paint the poles. Just kind of do all that stuff. Uh, John, the guy that owns the 528, is wanting to look at this thing when he comes down tomorrow the next day to pick his car up. He's wanting to buy it. Um, so we'll see if we can make him a deal on it. And if not, that's okay. No pressure from anywhere. And we're going to do the lights, but we're going to wait to see if he buys it before we buff them because he'll want to replace them probably more than likely. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get rid of this solenoids out of there, get the battery impact zip it off. And I think we're just ready to put some more miles on it, get the wiring tucked away and drive around a little bit. And the title, he ended up, the, the cheapness of this thing was due to the title being signed wrong, but we got there and it wasn't. He just had his address on it and he had not signed in the buyer spot. So we got to go to the DMV, probably get some kind of form to staple to that title and fix that and get that worked out. So we got to make sure that's worked out before we could sell it or before we order any parts for it. But there should be no issue getting that figured out. And then we'll get our, go to paintscratch.com or one of those other sites, had some aerosol base mixed up to match this VIN number for these guys. And we'll eventually find a, a mirror cover for this one. As long as the mirror works, if not, we'll find a whole mirror, but that looks like crap. Other than that, guys, it really should clean up pretty good. The tires run out smooth. They're all equally low, which that's a good sign from sitting. And somebody's got some some drywall screws in there that needs to be adjusted and and flipped up just a little bit and lined up. But yeah, I mean, even if I had to pay, I don't know, Broken X5 goes for what, usually around two thousand uh, dollars. Whereas me a little bit, the book value is not real high on this thing, so. You know, we'll get everything worked out in it. We're gonna have to service the transmission. I'm sure it's never been done. We'll check the state of that. That's super easy on these. Uh, but we'll definitely, I don't know. We'll do all the maintenance, get it all looking good again. I think we'll probably be in the $3,000 range on this thing. If John wants to buy it, maybe we'll work a deal with him, give him a little better deal. I'm not sure what all it's gonna need yet until we put some miles on it. We'll see how it ends up in the very end. But that's all for today's video, guys. Uh, we'll be back with John's car. Hold on. Electric fans in for John's car. Came in this massive box. Uh, I'm going to get this video uploading for today. I'm going to go out and we're going to put this thing, plug this thing in, make sure it works. I need to put his uh, thermostat back on. A new, another new thermostat, the second new thermostat that was leaking. And put his new fan trap back on his fan. And... We got the P340 back on that M52TU on his E39. We have another exhaust cam sensor to see if that's it. That car could be out of time a little bit. Um, hopefully it's not because I sure as hell would have done it when we had the valve cover off of it. Hopefully the other cam sensor takes care of it and we don't have to retime it, but it's telltale signs that somebody did not put the secondary timing chain gears on exactly right. But we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.